Okay, hi everybody, it's me, Bonkai 22. So, Hell's Paradise. Uh, this was episode six. Let's see. Yeah. Episode six. Um, heart and reason. So we pick off where we left off from last week. We're Genji getting swiped. But before we get into that, flashback. Flashback for, get his name here, Wakura Rota. Now, this guy's a giant. Literally, he's a freaking giant. That's how he's introduced. We see his past when he was a child. And he would eat and throw stones. <laughs> this is a disturbing thing. <laughs> they show you all these people that I got to believe he threw stones at and killed them. Later on, we see other graphic scenes where I think his parents were killed by him too. This guy had... The understanding of his character, from my understanding, is that he's never full. But he's always hungry. At least that's what I'm getting at throughout this episode. Now, after that flashback, we get, you know, the whole bit with Genji. He's dying. Sugiri goes to him and tries to fix him up. And meanwhile, Gabimaru is trying to fight this guy. This giant, Kurota, he virtually has... It doesn't have that many weaknesses. <laughs> because Gabimaru basically throws the kitchen sink at him. Every technique he knows. Every technique. And what he finds out while fighting him is that it's virtually impossible for him to fight him head on. And everything else he's throwing at him is having no effect. So, I know, by the way, I want to mention one good subscriber for Bonkai 922, Stabby McStabs. Thank you for commenting on last week's video. Good shit, man. But I noticed that from that comment from Stabs, he mentioned the fact that Sigiri is still weak in the knees. She's not up to snuff. And I agree. And I said to myself, oh, hopefully down the road she is. Now in this episode, she seemingly has found her way in a show to speak. And Genji explains how she has the middle ground. Like she can be the way she was in last week's episode, and still caring. So she basically has the middle ground, he told her. And that was his whole bit. Now he gives his sword to her. And to go fight against what's his face. Now, like I said before, God Marvel didn't really do much against this guy. Did a few things here and there, kicked him and threw what he could at him. But it's not until Sagiri comes into play do they have some kind of idea or strategy how to take out this guy. And what ends up happening, eventually, you know, she um, cuts his finger, he bleeds, but then he stops bleeding. And eventually what happens is Gabi Maru, after getting hit really hard, and he's crying, this guy. He's like one of those, it's like one of those things. He's a giant, but he acts like a child. But Gabi Maru does do one thing. He activates his blades that he's done before. And he basically creates a forest fire. <laughs> Literally, he creates a forest fire. 
And this gives... Um, before that happened, actually, there was a C where it looked like he was going to get smashed by him. Security came in and gave him the save. And thwarted uh, Rotaro's attacks. It's a good save by her. But after the blaze occurs, the force is filled with smoke and fire. It starts to get to him. It starts to get to uh, Rukuro Rota. And... He eventually does collapse and is on his knees. And they do have the opportunity for security to go in there and basically cut his head off. And this is like... I'm not saying that Tsuguri's character has redeemed herself yet, but it's a start. Let's agree that it is the start. I think I think that that's more to her lines. But she hasn't done much, and people you know could probably say, yeah, this character's useless, she's not doing anything, blah, 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 blah. But at least in this episode, we could say that she's found her way. Sort of. She's found her way, and she's beginning to see her purpose in this current situation. And she eventually is able to cut his head off. But we do get a nice scene with her, with Okoto as a baby. And she explains to him, all the people that have hate you, have hated you, are dead. They're gone. They're like a somber moment. And she's cuddling his, the, the baby of him. And it is juxtaposed to show his head. Cut off. Now... From there, we then go have them leave because <laughs> it's smoke, it's carbon dioxide going around the forest, and they just bolt out there. Shigiri and um, Garamaro. Eventually, they catch up to the other two. Uh, what's her face? Yuzuraha and the other executioner. And they find. A village. Supposedly, this village has hermits living in it. And these hermits, I believe, are immortal. We do get some cameos in this episode also. Of the other executioners and criminals. But more importantly, we get the cameo of... Toma. And... Uh, I got his name. Chube. You know, the guy who kind of acts like Bakugo. <laughs> I don't know, he's not Bakugo. I'm just sorry. But anyway, there we see them. We see Chobe's drinking blood of the creatures. Like, dude, I don't know where they've been. And he explains to his brother that, oh, he does it in the mountains. You know, the lifeblood of, of the animals that he's killed. And kills. As they're doing this, they go through the forest. <laughs> they come up this scene. I don't know who these two are, but legit, at the end of this freaking episode, they get a Yuri scene? I'm not joking around. This pink-haired girl, blonde-haired girl. The blonde-haired girl is eating fruit. And she's making out with the pink-haired girl. Like, French kissing and everything. And, and the, the, the juices of the fruit is going into her mouth. And I'm like, what is this? Okay. I'm like, oh, okay. And they just stare at the other two. At uh, Ch uh, Chube. And his brother. And I'm like, okay, anime. You just gave us a Yuri scene. Okay. And they're nude, by the way. These two girls, they're, they're completely nude. So I'm like, okay. So we, we got our first half, nothing but blood and fire. And the second half, we get some sex? Not really sex, but still some 
high sexual innuendos here. And I'm like, whoa, where does it come from? Overall, I found this to be a good episode. 10 out of 10. I think it was... This episode, I think, was needed. If I'm being brutally honest. Because you look at the ch at how this show has been going about. And Sagiri's... I have to agree with my, my subscriber, Stabby McStabs. She wasn't holding her own. And I think this last episode and into this episode was a way to bridge that gap. At least to start to bridge that gap. To a point where it's like, you know, okay, now she's she's finding her way. She's trying to find her way. Trying to find her way in a world where her other um, students, executioners are being killed with the criminals and everything in between and trying to find a way to survive. So I thought that was a good nod there. But at ending scene, I was like, okay. I guess we're going to pick this up next week with these girls, whoever they are. They're pretty hot. I gotta say, they're pretty hot. But they're probably dangerous as... based upon the way they were looking at them. So it's like, yeah, they don't, there, there's no hanky panky going on here. But uh, yeah, pretty good episode. I like what I'm seeing with the show. This show's on fire to get this week. On fire, 100%. Uh, Hell's Paradise. But I know that this Geary thing might have been on a few people's minds. And it's good to see at least she, her character is going in the correct direction. And hopefully, as we go move forward, she, she improves. You know, she improves to a point where she's no longer a lead weight to Gabimaru and everyone in the show. And she's actually fighting to survive, fighting to survive with Gabimaru and actually making a name for herself in her clan. So, yeah, that's all I got for you guys for this episode. We'll see how this goes next week for Hell's. Paradise, and I should mention, tomorrow night is going to be Gundam, but there's a little asterisk here. The following week, there is no Gundam episode. It's a recap episode. So knowing that, I will probably not do a video, but, but, I might do a character video on Prospera. I don't know. We'll see. This is with Banka and I'll we'll see you guys later. Sigiri is going on the right path. Hopefully. She has more action scenes. She can kick some more ass. I'll see you guys later.